And welcome back. Some uh, some good news and some bad news on the retail front. Let's start with uh, the good news. Good news. J.C. Penney raised its full year forecast, and Shake Shack cooked up some big earnings beat after the bell today. But earlier today, Macy's and Ralph Lauren, both of them posting disappointing numbers that clearly left investors dissatisfied. And and again, retail sales missed estimates coming in flat for April, and that was. Four out of the last five months have been flattered down. Heatha, everybody blamed Winter, but now Winter you can't blame, so no. what's holding back? And I'm sick of people blaming the weather. They've been I doing know. this for a while. A lot of analysts say that. It's absolutely not the weather. You look at the GDP growth for the first half of 2015, barely moved. So, of course, we're going to see uh, retail sales also barely moving. This is a, gi a gigantic part of GDP growth and what people spend, consumer spending. So you're going to see that mirror. Also, we always talk about the bifurcation of the consumer, right? So the very wealthy might have been spending. The people that maybe are still worried about their jobs and maybe losing but, their jobs. But J.C. Penney, that's not where the rich hang out. No. Do they? They're not. But J.C. Penney, and I've always been a believer in J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney did a really good thing. They, they're very careful about how they're guiding. And they're also very specific about who their customer is. That customer likes promotions. They also like to spend. Are they getting their for act gain. together because they were in some bad shape? Well, before. they also had Ron Johnson, who was the helm of that, and tried to restructure this company, mainly not having promotions at J.C. Penney. That customer, J.C. Penney, wants to save as much money as possible. And there's a very specific customer that goes there. They are targeting that customer now. That is why we're seeing it too a little bit better. Okay. Chad, Macy's uh, came out with their new plan. They're going to they're going to go more digital and they're right. going to open some uh, some other kinds of discount stores. Yeah. So, but they're they're having a tough number after the after the report today. Well, a lot of these big box retailers are scrambling to try to keep up with the Amazons of the world. Here's the the thematic that's been playing out for the last 6 years. Households and the consumer have been deleveraging. And why we know that is because mortgage credit, aggregate mortgage credit, hasn't grown and it's actually gone down. You're going to continue to have this malaise. You'll have a modest, uh, modest up and down within consumer spending. But until you start to see a re-leveraging of the consumer, then you're going to have this lackluster kind of return. And nothing now, makes that point that, more than the way that they're spending on big ticket items. Right. Automobiles down 0.9 percent. Uh, things like furniture down 0.4 percent. I mean, so, it's so really you'll see it in real Here's the conundrum then. I've been in this business 50 years and usually uh, things make economic sense. All of what we're talking about, the estimates for GNP for the second quarter are coming down already. In fact, the Atlanta Fed, I think, is at less than 1%. Right. Why is the 10-year Treasury just gone from 185 yield yes. to 225 two, two yield? Yes. Why are interest That's rates going up when the economy is slowing Chris, down? Chris, what's your, what's your answer? Because I think we're those being, interest rates should yeah. not be going up. I think we're being pushed around by European rates, and we're kind of following that. That's causing our kind of correction here. We were in an area that was kind of overbought. It was Everyone was leaning to that side, so we've corrected back. I don't think rates are going uh, parabolic here. Um, so... Uh, you know, I'm okay with that. I think on the retail side, if you looked at your health care costs, you're going to Obamacare. And that's taking a lot of money out of the consumer right now. They're readjusting. And you've also lost a lot of good jobs in the energy market. So people are not as confident as they maybe were nine months ago. So I think that has to filter through as and, well. And people really haven't seen their wages move. And so that obviously leads to, you know, the lack of consumer spending. We are seeing that people are saving more, so that is impacting it as well. But it's certainly a concern that wages aren't yeah. moving. Yeah. All right.